It's over. That's it. It's done. It's, I just feel different energy. It's like, this shit's real now, you know? Does this ruin the, the pole ceremony? Yeah, it's only been about 30 seconds of speaking to her. What's that you offer me a Zin? No thanks, I don't do Nick. We're offering Zin to everybody. Why, I'm the guy. Nervous, excited, love is in the air. I was listening to Sade all morning, so I'm ready, I'm ready. You briefly talked to Jeff, how was it? Uh, it was amazing, slightly overwhelming, very overstimulating. He smells really good, he looks really good. I'm excited. <laughs> and kind of shit myself at the same time. And then we had hash browns on the way here, and now my breath smells like hash browns, so I hope he likes potatoes. He just has some sort of like confidence about her already, like she's like, it's like she, it's like it's her show now, and I'm a contestant. What do you think of Jeff's outfit? Is he rugged? Yeah, maybe like LA rugged, rugged chic. Like he wants to be a lumberjack, but he can't because he's too pretty. Jeff wants to be a gangster, but he ain't a gangster. He's so soft and gooey on the inside. I heard you talking about me over there saying I'm not a real yeah, gangster. Yeah, well, someone's going to bring your ego down. Can't be insecure well, with the big Maybe I need to show ego. you what's up. I just got my felony. Oh! I'll go get another strike right now. You want me to fuck somebody up right around here? Men are really confident here. I'm like nervous because this has right. become real now and, and you're here and you're great. When's the last time you were in a relationship? About a year ago now, I think. It lasted maybe 10 months. Damn, why? We're already talking about exes, shit. I'm talking about your ex. I'm not trying to bring yeah. up any of my exes. Yeah, you already did that enough on the show. Yeah, <laughs> I've, I've read the comments. We love a guy that talks about his exes that highly. We don't want a guy that slanders his girls, you know? One time I came to the beach here with an ex. We had already broken up, but I was going through some stuff. My dog Nerf, obviously, he was, he was really old and he fell down the stairs one day in the morning. It woke me up, like it was getting to that time to where I had to make a decision. I, I came out here to the beach, you know, take your mind off of it. And we bump into this guy. He's like talking to me, he's like, what's wrong, man? You, you seem down. And I was like, my, my French bulldog fell down the stairs. He was like, don't worry about it. Just come with me. He was British. And it was just like this, I was wearing jeans. And he was like, you could take my shorts. And he gives me his shorts and he had like all these like plastic things. Like he was picking up trash on the beach. Oh, that's Like nice. what a nice guy, yeah. you know? And I took the trash out. I was like, oh, what the fuck's all this stuff? And I threw it out. <laughs> he says, let's just come out with me into the water. I know it's cold, but just dive all the way down and just let your body float up to the top. Like the angels are pulling you up to the sky. I did it. And then I came out of the water like I was reborn. I'm walking away and I'm like, damn, that guy was fucking out of his mind. And she goes, you know who that was, right? And I was like, no. And she was like, it's Chris Martin. He's the singer of Coldplay. That guy is a fucking angel. He just saved me oh, in the worst time. It's like, I wasn't like a big fan. I'm a fan of Coldplay, but I didn't Really know. like Coldplay? Like, yeah, of course. Yeah, that's in line with liking 50 Cent. <laughs> I like everything. Do you have a favorite artist? Yeah, 50 Cent. Oh my God, okay. <laughs> and, and Chris Martin Cut the now. cameras. What about you? <laughs> For a favorite artist? I don't know, it changes, but Radiohead is like an all time flag. No, I don't listen to Taylor Swift. I don't like pop stars. I like that. That's nice, but we also like the girls that like Taylor Swift. Girlhood is a spectrum, girl. Well, I'm not trying to date them. Yeah, you're trying to date me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Look at that confidence. It's not confidence. It's, it's something that I'm not used to. So what's your plans? What do you, what, what do you want to do? With my life? Live with in LA. Way. Yeah, maybe. What maybe. are your thoughts? Probably live in LA if some really cute guy wanted to date me and he happened to live here. But then I would only do that temporarily. If we wanted a family, we're not raising children here. Yeah, With no, peace and no, love. no, no, All no. Oh, peace and love in the world. That, but... uh, I'm on the same page there. Uh, oh, you want to come to Australia? I think so. Meeting Australian people and their sense of humor. I feel like you fit in an Australian woman here. Yeah. We take the piss out of everyone. Everyone takes themselves too literally here. The show started <laughs> off as entertainment. I was like, I'll go on the show. I'll fucking be silly, joke around. It'll be fun mm -hmm. content. And then we'll just go back to normal. When the first video played and it was you, I was like, oh damn, <laughs> Sam really did do her research. She did me here. good, didn't she? Yeah. I got something here for you. It may or may not have my Instagram in it for you to know. I've been pronouncing your name wrong this whole time. Yeah. Now, would you want me to say, it's Baby's Bernicia, fine, right? sweetheart. Baby. But if I have to address you to someone else, <laughs> and like say like- Maybe I'm, that it's all, or Verica. Like I'm booking a flight and I'm telling my assistant. That it's all. Come on, you're Italian, you should be able to say this. Yeah, but I speak with like- You speak Italian? New York Italian, like yeah, not, like re your not real Italian. Yeah, I like your accent, that's the best. It's, it's like a fucking made up accent. Veritza? Yeah, just shove it out real quick, Veritza. Veritza. Yeah, perfect. That yeah. works for me. And the rose. Yeah. Just one. Uh-huh. And a little boxing kangaroo. Yeah. 
I kind of want to fight a kangaroo that's like a bad one, you know, like the like the ones that attack dogs. Oh, that we can maybe read later. No, I want to read this Oh, maybe we read that yeah, one later. Yeah. Oh, this is actually cute. Yeah, put it the fuck away, man. No, this is the real you. <laughs> Stop. This is what I need to see. Oh my God, I can't be the roommate with all these damn cameras. You got this up. It's just, it's a real All my sweet, love. <laughs> sweet, no, I won't say anything, don't worry. Thank you. Thanks. Oh, I get a hug? Yeah. I feel like the luckiest man, too. Stop it. Don't be <laughs> saying shit. Shut the fuck I up. I want to know about your life, you know? I want to know about the real Jeff. We got plenty of time for that. Yeah? Yeah. We've got the rest of our lives. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they have questions Oh, my fucking here for God. Me. Can you name five different Jeffs? Quick, fast. Jeff Wittick. Jeff right. Wittick. Jeff Wittick. Oh, wow. Jeff Wittick. Jeff oh, Wittick. That's the only one that matters. Oh, five. That's the only that's one, the only that one I need to know, baby. Fuck Jeff Bezos. <laughs> Fuck Jeff Goldblum. I'm not doing this one. I'll do it, just but just know I didn't want to do it. Are we fishing right now? Because you're a catch. <laughs> who's, who, that's not a question. Who's responsible for this? I want. That's a good line. Okay, an authentic question here. Define love. What does love mean to you? That, well, there's different types of love. There's like love for family members, but love for like your spouse, you know, like like you enter into each other's bodies and you become one Such and you just get that. <laughs> I mean, enter in the body. No, I'm not saying it like a perverted way. Again, this question didn't come from me, but um, would you love me still if I was a worm? It depends what kind of worm. There's different kinds of worms. Have you seen June yet? Dune? Yeah, Dune. You, st you said it with a J. June. 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 That's how we say it. June. June. Say no. 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 Oh, you mean no. No. <laughs> no. Oh. We've got some entertainment. For no oh, my God. How lovely. Yep. New all yellow. Yeah. Yes, Zach. Just let the. In game. Fuck yeah. <laughs> just let the ocean <laughs> blow you up to the stars. <laughs> the angels pull you up to the sky. <laughs> Chris Martin, is that you? Incredible. That was fucking beautiful. I could feel the angels pulling us up to the sky. <laughs> My man, it's for you. Thank you. Give me a hundo. Yeah. And we have similar accents. Sometimes people ask me from Australia. That's a fucking lie. I swear. Sometimes people are like, are you Australian? I'm like, yeah. I hate being cold. Yeah, I hate it too, but it makes you feel good when you get like warm again. You know what else is good? Therapy works great. Well, like talking to people? Yeah. Yeah, I do that too. I try to, I try everything. You know, maybe I need to just try having a partner that I could talk to. <laughs> Are you a good artist? I did music, not art, you know? Do you want to try to paint each other? Yeah, I'd love to. Have you ever done a whip it? Yeah, we call them nangs. I want to do live shows so, so bad in Australia. You? What do you do at your live shows? A live do you podcast. Give people like a haircut, you should do that. You ever pull people audience. out of the crowd, fucking shave their head, get like a little, like a bad punk kid that's a heckler, <laughs> shave it like an old man, like the bald thing in, nail pattern baldness. What were you like in high school? I was already cutting hair by then, so I was like, just. Really? Kind of an asshole. I was like, I, I'm, I got my fucking life figured out. I was like, how does that make you an asshole? That makes you the coolest kid ever. Well, I didn't want to say it like that, but yeah, that's basically how it went down. So I bought this Sheep. little gun, <laughs> and the guy that I got it off of went to jail for armed robbery. So I, I would take like a, a date, like if we met back then, I would like take a girl to the park and like, you want to go shoot the gun? And like we would just fucking that's shoot cool. the gun off. Would you get me a little gun? Yeah, I'll get you a little gun, you and I would get one legally. <laughs> Which is even better. You don't need guns in Australia unless you got a fucking kangaroo trying to kill your dog. Your stories are fascinating. Kill My life that. is so much more boring in comparison. Well, that's good. Then I could like, yeah, you know, you'll tell always you, be the cool you'll, one, you'll, me. you'll appreciate these dumb stories. Yeah, one time my parents found a bunch of drugs under my bed and I came home. They had the box, like I had a safe and they had it opened up with all the drugs. Probably eighty thousand dollars worth of drugs i was holding them for oh, my friend small. maybe like ten thousand of them was mine i told him i was like i'm gonna fucking Stop die so if you do this i'm gonna get in serious trouble it's gonna put me in more danger and they understood and they let me fucking give the drugs back to the guy and then he gave me back my my half after 
Your parents are way too good to you. They are. Peace and love. They oh my God. But everything worked out because now I'm the most successful out of all my siblings and I'm the favorite again. Really? So yeah, take that, Stephen and Karen. I won at the end of the day. So how did you become a celebrity, Bobo? I was just a little clout chaser. Well, right place, That's right time. about you. Right place, right time, anything's possible. You really think it was just a stroke of luck? Well, I put myself in, in the position for that to work out for myself. I, okay. I moved to uh, try and find bigger and better things in Miami. Why Miami? It was just fucking dope. And then I loved GTA Vice City. <laughs> and I just. I really want one of the old PlayStations we used to grow up with. Did you ever have one of those? Yeah, I, was, I went straight from Tom and Jerry to fucking jail. <laughs> Fuck. It's funny how you guys said this shit's not gonna be good because it's coming out pretty fucking sick. <laughs> Let me see what your eyes look like. Damn, I fucked up so bad. Really? Eyes not are the hard. hardest. Yeah, it's a good thing I only have to do one. <laughs> She's funny. I'm not. Nice. hear that? A fucking crane smashed him right in his head. I would have loved if my parents put me in Kung Fu. My brother did Kung Fu yeah. and he would beat the shit out of me. How much of the H3 podcast do you watch? You All like the time. I love the H3 podcast. You don't like that? Is that why you're here? <laughs> Fuck no. <laughs> you're on the H3 podcast now. Yeah, it's Congratulations. Terrifying. You didn't like the H2 podcast? No, fuck the H2 podcast. You gotta podcast. love the H2 podcast, Jeff, because they brought us together. There you go, that's your hair. This is what your hair looks like, mustard. And now you're making it green. I'm sorry for this painting in advance. The fuck? I fucked it up so bad. So what do you want to name your kids? Our kids. Fire and ice, water, chaos, outlaw, Frank. Maybe a little less Frank. You want to do like celebrity names for our kids? I like chaos with like a K or something. Do you think crime is ethical? Everybody does it. Politicians, everyone's crooked. Yeah, you know? tell them, Jeff. You got to do what you can. And if that takes a little cut in corners in life, it is what it is. I just fucked this up so much more. Oh, <laughs> oh my God, it's <laughs> fucking terrible. All right, how about Jeff? You reveal yours first. <laughs> Oh! <laughs> I tried really hard. Where are my damn cheekbones? <laughs> Why do I look so afraid? My eyes are so close oh, together. Look, look, there we go. We'll put a little rosy cheeks on you. Oh, thank you. All right, let's see yours. Close your eyes. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? Do you love it? <laughs> it's beautiful. It took inspiration from Futurama. Look at the nostrils. A girl with a sense of humor. She's not scared to make fun of me, but deep down inside, she's really sweet. Now, I'm gonna read her note that she wrote me out loud. No, <laughs> yeah, man, there we go. That was a real no. narrow. <laughs> we got a real Australian narrow. You ready to jump in? Yeah, where's Kyle with the towel? This fucking kid. Like this is gonna be torture. <laughs> it's okay, prove your love for me. You can do it. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Fuck no. <laughs> Take it down. Oh my god. <laughs> This is the best day of my life. Are you happy? Did you get what you want, Ethan? Well, thank you guys. I'm sorry to the other lovely women, but I can't control my pole. <laughs> no, I have no thoughts right now. <laughs> How are you feeling right now? Overstimulated, overwhelmed, yep. ready to pop out a baby. I think we're pretty good. Pretty good? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, it, can't get much better than that, you know? Was that a surprise at the end? Uh, yes. I felt kissed by an angel. Would there be a second date if you could do it? Yes, hopefully. In Australia, with the kangaroos. Do you go to Australia? Fuck yeah, if they let me in. Um, I gotta get a visa. We'll figure it out, maybe I'll marry in. <laughs> Show's over. Sorry. Uh, Hila's probably having a baby right now, so... We could end it, you know, wrap it up. Could you see us having a, a house right here on the beach? Yeah, if we can afford it. Oh, we can afford it. <laughs> All right, show's, show's over.